we ended up, you know, raking through the news to see what had happened. And then the next day it was confirmed of that it was a terrorist attack. I think you see me pull up on a bike full of tattoos, face covered in tattoos, a big beard, and you instantly think that this type of this bike is going to be, you know, rough, antisocial, drinks too much, parties, goes goes crazy, you know, and smashes things up. And that is the misconception of a lot of people. And it's just not how we are at all. We're a top bunch. Remember, like, it was yesterday. I was in bed, my missus was pregnant with my little girl, and uh, we was up in bed and we'd seen that something had happened at the arena, but no one was sure what. And then as the, the reports kept coming in, we, we ended up, you know, raking through the news to see what had happened. And then the next day it was confirmed of that it was a terrorist attack. I think it was just as they started to put the memorials up in, was it say, Anne Square, um, and everyone started putting, bringing flowers. So I'd roll down on my bike and I'd, and I'd drop some flowers off and I'd sort of stood around and I was taken back and I was sort of stood taken back in awe and just about how many people were there, I couldn't believe it. Everyone was upset and people were crying and there was people there who'd been directly affected by what had happened and indirectly affected people who'd just seen things on the news. Like myself, I was there, I wasn't directly affected by it, um, but it still turned a card with me and I was just there to show support. Being in the biker community, you know, we tend to do a lot of things charity-wise, you know. The planning for the first event, it was very gung-ho. It was thrown together really, really quickly. It was a case of, this is where we're going to meet, this is the route we're going to take, and this is where we're going to end up. And we got quite a bit of support from GMP, which was good. I didn't think it was going to get as much success as it did, it blew me away. One minute there was sort of 20, 30 people outside, the next minute there was six, 700 bikes. They were just everywhere, it was insane. I remember when Charlotte first approached me, she'd seen the event that had been, that I'd created on Facebook and sent across and shared relentlessly. She was an integral part in that first event. We want to keep the memory alive of the 22. Um, and we want to show everybody in the whole world basically that we're all still standing together and that we're, we're not afraid by what you've done and we're never going to stop doing things like this. Olivia would love it. Um, she was just coming up into the scooter world. She loved it when everyone got together and she'd be dead proud that we're keeping her memory alive. I'd gone out. It was the morning of my 30th birthday. I'd come to see some friends at JS. The ride was fine as normal and I pulled into the car park and a, a car come flying out of a parking space without looking and hit me on the left side, sent me up in the air, landed funny. And um, my femur, my left femur went straight through my hip and pelvis and then destroyed me left side of my body, basically. It took seven and a half months of my life away from me. I was in hospital with it. It was horrible. I was heartbroken that I'd put all the effort into getting it ready and so close to the day of the ride I had an accident and I tried every which way possible to get out of hospital but there was just no way I was going to be able to come out of hospital to take part in it. This is Michael Cox's ride. I'm just so sorry that Mikey's not here. Mikey's, well yeah, Mikey's just been on, on FaceTime, you know what I mean? Heartbroken the fact he's not here but unfortunately you know, what we do, accidents happen. We have no control over accidents happening. Right folks, we're all here for the same reason. Silence. When the one minute silence is over, one, one minute round of applause. 
we've done a lot more direct charity raising this year for the Manchester Children's Hospital. It's it's becoming more and more popular now and a lot more people are becoming they're all there for the same reason we all we're all there for, you know, we're there to pay our respects to the twenty two that lost their lives, but not only the twenty two, to their families as well to show that we care. Hey, what's going on? I'm Kevin Hart. Hi, my name's Eric Snow Street. Hi, I'm Margo. I'm Journey. I'm James McAvoy. I'm Daniel Radcliffe. I'm Rebel Wilson. I'm Jeremy Clarkson. I'm going to be translating some Scottish tweets for It's Gone Viral. On It's Gone Viral. Ooh. On It's Gone Viral.